Weather apps are pretty handy. You've got a forecast in the palm of your hand at any time. You can scroll through hour by hour and get an idea of the precipitation outlook in percentages. But do you know where those percentages come from? I'm answering that in this week's Heather's Weather Wise. The term probability of precipitation sounds pretty straightforward when you think of it at first. It's the chance that we'll get rain. But when it gets down to actually interpreting that number, there's a few different ways you can look at it. To prove a point on some of that confusion, I asked people on Facebook and on Twitter to tell me what they think a 30% chance for rain means. Jeff said it means 30% of the area will or could see rain, but 70% could stay dry. Linda went with the optimism. She said there's a 70% chance that it won't rain. Joni said it means that there's a 30% chance that it will actually rain, but not necessarily that it will rain the entire day. According to this Twitter poll, the consensus was that it's more of a matter of how confident I am in the forecast, meaning if there's a 30% chance of rain, I'm not very confident that that rain is actually going to make it here. The correct answer is technically all of the above, and there's a formula to go along with it. A true probability of precipitation or POP forecast is this. The confidence that we have that rain will occur within our forecast area multiplied by the percent of the region that will see precipitation, if it rains at all. So if I'm 100% confident in our chance for rain, this number becomes a one, and what I'm really telling you is the area that will see the rain, 70%. A situation like that means the rain is going to be widespread and a little easier for us to track. Shocker though, I'm almost never 100% confident in a rainfall forecast, and I will freely admit that, one good example of when not to be 100% confident is in the case of pop-up thunderstorms. Not only do they cover a smaller area than what a widespread rain event would, they're also harder to predict. Right now there is no model strong enough to be able to tell us where that storm may or may not pop up. So in that case, the confidence is lower, the area with rain is likely lower, and the probability of precipitation is also lower. Remember that that probability of precipitation value doesn't have anything to do with how long the rain will last or how intense it could be. That's where we come in and lay out the details for you on air and online. And one more note about weather apps, they're not all created equal. The Storm Team 2 app is checked by one of us at least once per day to make sure the most accurate hourly precipitation chances are in there. Some apps though are only driven by a computer. And remember, I said there's no computer powerful enough to accurately forecast rainfall, and it takes some human thinking to make the forecast a little bit better. Just some things to keep in mind as we continue to roll through this rather unsettled pattern for the next few days. That's gonna do it for this week's edition of Heather's Weather Wise. I'll see you next week with a new topic, but until then, remember it's good to be a geek.